Hi, it's Carla from What If NC, and today I'm part of the Pick Your Passion Hop number three. Check in the detailed box for the links to other artists participating in the hop. So I'm going to make a tumbler today using a, a new technique uh, with aluminum foil. So I've taken a piece of regular aluminum foil from the kitchen, crumpled it into a ball, and then spread it back out to kind of give me um, a different texture. I'm going to use E6000 to um, apply this to the stainless steel cup. Um, I had done a, a, an experiment before using Mod Podge and it did not go as well as I would have liked. So figuring the E6000 would work a little bit better, so now I've applied it and I'm ready to put some type of a design on the tumbler. So I've decided that I'm going to use some alcohol inks in kind of a teal color and um, a lime green color uh, to um, apply onto the cup and making stripes. So the thought is I'm just going to uh, put a, a small amount and, and work my way down the cup into a stripe. Um, as you can see, this first one's kind of going a little wonky on me. So I think I'm gonna take a, a sponge and yeah, it's going all over the place. So I'm going to take a sponge and, and try to kind of clean some of that off. Um, but Because I, I want to have fairly distinct lines, even though I know because of the texture of the aluminum foil that uh, they're going to go a little crazy on me. But I just want to do a stripe of, of teal and then in between a stripe of the green. I think it'll give a nice effect. And, and I'm really sorry. my I'm off camera a little bit here, so I apologize for for the bad camera positioning. Um, and because of that, I probably am not going to show you putting all the green um, on this cup because um, most of it will be done off camera and, and you're not going to be able to see it. So my bad. Excuse. Sorry. Uh, I'll try to do better in other videos. But uh, I'm really kind of liking the effect that I'm getting from, from this aluminum foil. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like under epoxy because the one thing that I found making tumblers is that finishes that may look a little flat or or you're just really not sure what they're going to look like when you get them under epoxy, uh, it, it gives you a different dimension to, to the artwork. So um, here I am putting the green on and like I said, I'm going to, going to go ahead and cut from this and uh, we'll go into... Um, here in a second, we'll go into putting the epoxy on, on the finished tumbler, uh, finished decorated tumbler, I should say. So you can kind of see the green and the, and the blue. It's great color, color matching. I, I think, yeah, turning out really good. So here you can see all the different stripes that I have applied. And it's now at the point um, that I'm ready to put some epoxy on it. Hey, the great part about using alcohol inks, um, oh, you can see I have a little corner that's lifted up. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more E6000 underneath that and kind of get it stuck down because you don't want anything lifting up when you're putting it under epoxy. But the great part about alcohol inks is they dry really quickly and you can go directly into applying epoxy um, on, a, on your tumbler fairly well. I'm using Illuminlight um, Epoxy, and I know a lot of people ask me about my uh, Turner. Um, this Turner is, uh, you can find it on Etsy. Um, Absolute Programming is the name of the Etsy store. Uh, he does a, I think he's from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He does a fabulous job if you want to get yourself a Tumblr Turner. Um, really like it. So I'm uh, applying the Illuminlight Epoxy onto the cup in a fairly thick layer because this is um, very similar to applying it to uh, any glitter cup because anything times you have a lot of texture, you're gonna need a little extra epoxy. And I'll probably have to do two coats on this um, because of the texture in the, in the tumbler. But I'm trying to get a good coat up and down the cup on the bottom and on the top edge. Um, and then I'll come back later on and sand any rough um, high areas and uh, and put on a final coat of epoxy. So um, trying to get the last bit of my epoxy out and on the cup. 
um, so that I can get this done. So typically I will wait overnight um, before putting another coat on. Uh, this I, gives me a, a, a good enough time for it to cure that um, that I can do work with a cup at that point. So it's dried overnight and uh, looking really great. The dimension is fabulous in this cup. It's hard to see it on the video, but um, but I do have some rough areas uh, because of the of the highs and lows of the texture of the aluminum foil. So I'm sanding just using regular sandpaper, and I can't even tell you what the grit is on it. Um, I usually get the assorted package, so I'm not not too um, concerned about um, the the grit. It's probably medium grit. Um, and you can also use uh, wet and dry as well if you want to. Um, but it is going to put a lot of dust off. So as you're sanding, you're going to want to make sure that you, you really get all areas of the cup, including that top edge. Um, sometimes it can be kind of rough and it, and you can also have some areas that maybe didn't seal down well. So you'll want to check those to make sure they're, they're sealed and uh, smooth. Also check the bottom rim and the bottom edge of the cup. And as you'll notice, I'll feel all over the cup just to make sure that I don't have any raised areas. The one thing about epoxy is it can fill a hole, but it doesn't do very well with a, a high level bump. So you'll want to smooth those as smooth as possible so that you can get a real smooth coat when you're done. Once I've finished, I will wipe down the cup a couple times. I'll wipe it with my hands. I'll use a piece of uh, paper towel and then a, a towel, paper towel with um, some isopropyl alcohol. I think I get like the 90% that you can get at Walmart. Um, so you'll see me wiping it down here shortly. So once I've got it wiped down, the great part about isopropyl alcohol is it will dry really quickly. I don't like putting water or anything on the cup at this point, mainly because um, I've seen in some cases where you can get a cloudy appearance in your um, epoxy if there's water um, in it because water and epoxy don't mix very well. So you want something to dry. So at this point, I've mixed up a second batch of uh, epoxy. Um, again, this is Alumalite. Um, I, I buy it directly from Alumalite. You can get it at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and some of those places in small containers. I uh, buy a gallon jugs at a time. So um, so I'm, I'm applying a liberal coat, trying to get in the areas that um, I may have had... Uh, either some lumps and bumps, making sure I get full coverage all the way from top to bottom. I don't worry if I go over the top edge uh, because uh, I think in some of my other videos you may have seen, I use a um, X-Acto knife to cut off any overage, any epoxy that may have gone over the top lip and into the inside of the cup. You can just uh, run a, an X-Acto knife around the top edge and then peel off that excess epoxy that's inside the cup in one, one um, stripe. Uh, it gives you a nice finished edge to that cup. So, um, so at this point, the cup is about finished and I'm ready to put it um, um, on the turner for the next six hours or six to eight hours, um, after which it will be uh, time to take it off and um, give it to the lucky recipient. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, please, you know, check in the description box down below for the other artists that are participating on this hop. Uh, you know, subscribe and uh, and basically um, support those artists as well. I appreciate it. Thank you.